How's it going guys? My name is Graham. Welcome to the brand new game, Parkasaurus. Oh man, I love how all the dinosaurs' heads are like stored within the letters. I didn't notice that right away. That looks really cool. I am very excited about this game. For the last little while, I've been looking for a new uh, management tycoon style game to play. Really, really close together, we had Two Point Hospital and then Mega Aquarium. And now Parkasaurus, they all came out so close together, but I decided to hold out for this one specifically. It looked like the most appealing to me. My first impressions of it are super strong. I just finished doing the tutorial. It seems totally great. It is an early access, so there's a thing here talking about like, hey, thanks for supporting us. Steam Workshop coming soon. That would be really cool too, because then you can do literally anything with the game. Like I said, I just did the tutorial, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start a new one from scratch here. Let's just do standard, normal settings, normal difficulty, everything like that. We're gonna skip the tutorial and we're just gonna get right into it. The setup of this game is super weird. I don't know why it's like this. There's dinosaurs that have crash landed on Earth from space, and it like re invoked an era of dinosaurs. I don't know, but then you still like dig them up through fossil records and stuff. It's confusing as all hell. I don't know exactly why it's like that, but just put that out of your mind. It's not overly important. I don't know the full extent of what animals you are allowed to have in your park. There's no way that's spelt right. Yeah, I'm missing a U. Does that look right? But anyways, the T-Rex was not in Jurassic Park. He was never alive during the Jurassic period. He was during the Cretaceous. So we're going to be Cretaceous Park. Maybe someday we'll get ourselves a T-Rex. Not necessarily immediately. First things first, we're going to want to whip together a enclosure in which to stick our dinosaurs. I don't want them to feel too crowded. So let's, uh, let's make things nice and large. Ooh, that's handy that it shows me where it's going to line up there. I do very much appreciate that. You start with a pretty good chunk of change. Hmm, do you know what? I probably could have made that bigger. Maybe that's good for now. We want to stick a door on there too, so employees have a way in and out. Wouldn't want to forget about that. Ah, oh, good. We do get to start with a uh, Stegosaurus. So we're going to go ahead and chuck him down there. It said that he likes rainforests. Biome preference is rainforest, so we're going to go set that up for him. Just stretch that out across, nice and large across. Yeah, let's do the whole thing. I was thinking of maybe leaving a part of it open. We'll we'll get the whole thing going. And do you know what? It said that uh, he likes a little bit of privacy. I'm going to chuck down some privacy grass. There, He'll have somewhere private to himself that he can go. Uh, we will want a little bit of waterfront for him to mess around with. And let's give it give it a little stretch in the back there as well. See, now I just shifted it over into Rainforest. It's kind of cool how you can shift things around by, by adding different things like that. Uh, he, he can have a little kind of mid-section pond as well. I don't really know how he plans to make use of it, but we'll, we'll give him options. Scenery. Good for forest, uh, rainforest, and taiga, so we're fine there. We'll stick a couple of these around, liven things up a little bit. Maybe, maybe some oaks while we're at it. Because uh, you can actually have directly impact the biodiversity here too, so I want to I want to make sure I have a nice strong biodiversity in my little enclosure. Ooh, it's not near any water, so they're gonna do poorly. In that case, I'm gonna stick a little bit more over here, and I'll add the water. Thank you for the reminder, game. I <laughs> wouldn't have thought of that. All right, nice secondary small little pond over here too. Now hydrating those tiles. I'm gonna, you're gonna want some bushes around here too. Get the bush biodiversity up as well. Although it seems to count abundance more so than actual distinct different types of species. And it wants rocks as well. Granite, basalts. What's the difference here? Oh, they're just different shapes. We'll get a big boulder. Nah, it's too big of a boulder. We'll just go with the nice little guys. Just a few of these small ones to kind of mess around different make things a little more interesting now we got nice rock diversity as well accidentally a very small exhibit our first little stegosaurus little stegosaurus friend is he having a little nap there at first oh how you doing there frank frank the stegosaurus everybody we are going to want to make sure he's nice and fed i need to double check whether he is vegetarian he's a vegetarian and so we're gonna want to make sure we have food on hand for him we'll buy a few little clusters of food to begin with yeah we'll make let, let's buy a decent amount make sure we have enough on hand and we'll set uh, a task to buy it at the end of each day so that we kind of ensure that we have as much coming in as possible you can also buy meat here 
I, bank, I guess. I never came across that. Hats. That's adorable. I would love to give Frank a hat, but maybe maybe I'll wait till I'm a little later. A little more, uh... Until I have maybe a little bit more experience. I can't do any of this yet. Here's where you would come to buy additional dino eggs. So you can see... Pretty lengthy, huge amount of dinosaurs. The Albertosaurus. That's cool. I actually live in a province that is well known for having some of the highest rates of dinosaur discoveries in the world. Which is super cool. So it would make sense that one would be named after... It, that might be named after some person named Albert. But I'm guessing it's named after Alberta. So that's probably where that comes from. And at the very bottom here, way, way down the line, you can eventually get a T-Rex. T-Rex is cool and all. No idea. I probably wouldn't call him my favorite. I don't know what I would call my favorite. But hey, it's probably not that. Right, this guy's not going to be very happy unless I give him a, <laughs> a nice feeder. So let's make sure we throw down one of those. We're going to want to hire... Uh, veterinarian to look after this. I have no idea why it's not a specific job title that has something to do, like something sp more specifically targeted to dinosaurs, you know? They refill food containers, heal and take care of dinosaurs, and clean up exhibits because they will poop all over the place. It's part of what they do. I like Galoot's speediness. We're going to have a nice speedy worker. Galoot, you're hired. We got you, buddy. Uh, You'll just have free reign. You just you do everything you need to do. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you how to do your job. You don't tell me how to do mine, and we're gonna get along swimmingly. What more do we need around here? Garbage bin. I want people to respect this park as much as possible. Please, everyone, go use this garbage bin so you don't litter my stuff. And around here is where we'll also stick the outhouse. So now everyone's got a place to dump. Their various things dump uh, items, dump poop. It all can be dumped in this little dumping corner we got going on. Uh, maybe people want a bench too. At some point, someone's probably going to get tired and want to have a seat. Let's maybe not stick it like ridiculously close to where people dump. Uh, we'll place it so you guys can have a nice cool look into the exhibit. I think people would enjoy that. Hopefully that doesn't crowd up the path too much. If it does, maybe we can exp expand the path around there a little bit. Look at him roaring around in there. He, he's he got a nice amount of privacy. It looks like he's happy with what I gave him there. His happiness is pretty strong overall. He's super healthy. Uh, he's not social yet because he doesn't have anyone to be social with. And it's too small. Please add more space. Oh, no. A dinosaur is on the loose. Uh, no, I don't. I, Jeez. Okay, I got to be quick. Uh, the day just ended, so it's trying to tell me about the different stuff that happened during the day. Yeah, probably nothing too exciting, not a lot of expenses or anything like that. Uh, next day, please. Fence, please. Quickly, quickly, quickly before this thing gets out. I'm gonna extend it along there. Come on, be faster, construction crew. Quit being so lazy. <laughs> Ooh, okay. He is still contained. I managed to keep him on board. But did I just change what this is? It's It doesn't have like a proper biome makeup anymore. I screwed that up by, by, by shifting things around. Let's, uh, let's fix that up here. Get the grass tiles back in place there. And crap. I left one straight piece of fence there. I'm trying to knock it down. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, get rid of that. I had a delivery that arrived at the front door. What could have been sent here? Additional plants. What kind of plants did you guys maybe send me? Keep those pipes clean. Flush 20 toilets. Except, that sounds like a really, really easy task for me to manage. Um, I think we have everything we need to open up the park. Let's let people in. People can start visiting the park now. I'm totally okay with that. Ooh, do you know what we don't have? We haven't hired a janitor yet. I'm going to want a janitor to keep things nice and clean. Bayard! He's pretty cheap. Oh, these guys are all quite cheap. I want Gramankis, probably. One, because I love their name. It doesn't look like they're very good at their job. But, uh, seems like people are really big fans of them. We're gonna have nice, friendly Gramankis that everyone's gonna love being around. Pick up trash, repair fences, clean bathrooms. That is all good stuff to have. I want a scientist on the team as well, too. Pilatch the f sixth. Sixth. Find dinosaur footprints by walking around the park. That's really cool. When placed in a presentation booth, we'll provide science by teaching guests. Oh, I love that. As a scientist, that is exactly what I want. 
and can be used to research lab to generate science. I would love to generate some science. Ooh, Ronavari, your goatee is fantastic. Bayard, <laughs> Bayard's is just as good. I think I want someone with high ability, probably good speed. Hmm, I'll trade off a little there. How efficiently versus how quickly? I'm going to go with Bayard. I think he seems like a good hire. We'll bring him on board. We don't need security just yet. You can have security just in case a dino ever gets out or if you need to move them between enclosures, anything like that. But for now, I'm happy where everyone is, so I see no need. I am going to chuck down a research station, a great place to do some learning. Uh, let's put a bit of a gap between it and where the outhouses are at. Maybe, maybe we don't want those quite so, so close together. Ah, uh, somewhere. I don't know where to stick it. Do you know what? You get your... Mm, I wish I could have stuck it at the edge here. I should have moved my enclosure a little bit. That's fine. We'll make do. Fine. If you insist, I will destroy this tiny little sapling or whatever it is in this stupid desert so I can throw down my cool-ass science building. All right, Bayard. I'm going to get you to start generating us some science. I would love... To just start raking in the science. Ooh, look at that. We're getting bonuses already for people flushing toilets. Is everyone here? Can I click on individual people? I can click on that. Okay. Nice. Get an idea of what everyone's up to. Uh, do I, like, not have enough toilets compared to the amount of people who are wandering in here? I wonder. So the privacy in here apparently is great. Apparently he loves the amount of privacy I gave him, even though I kind of skewed that. Ooh. The Ornithopoda, Ornithopoda footprint. That'll be able to spend towards getting new eggs, which is always cool. Crystals, sandstones, all that sounds so neat. Uh, we're going to stick a big-ass oak in the corner here, because I think it would look real cool. That does look cool. I'm, I'm into it. I like it. Mmm. Now I have somewhere to stick a big boulder, too. For whatever reason, I wanted a big boulder in there. Now I, now I get to do that which is exciting for me for whatever reason. I don't I don't know why. I just like having that diversity, the nice makeup in there. Oh, do you know what? I made it larger, and all of a sudden it's considered not having enough bushes. So we'll throw down a Keens, Keens bush in there. Get a, get a little bit more going on bush-wise. There, you guys happy with that? You guys like the amount of biodiversity in there now? Is the ideal variety of trees, bushes, and rocks for the biome to thrive. So that means it's doing well, right? Add tier 2 exhibit items to increase the realism of the exhibit. All of this stuff is considered tier 1 right now, I guess? I don't really fully understand what arrived here. I think what it was saying is that I, I don't think I had access to some of these like swamp, tundra, alpine, desert, grassland, savanna. I don't know if I had access to all those plants before. I think that ability was uh, opened up when that package arrived for me, which is cool. How much science am I sitting on right now? 340. That's a nice, like, healthy bit of science, actually. I think that's good. We are going to go hunting for a new... A new thing. Let's get... We'll, we'll get a stegosaurus again, maybe? Uh, we'll just we'll just get this thing open and running. The exploration takes a fair amount of time, so I want to open it now. So it's ready for me a little bit later. I think that'll be good. Everyone's probably getting a little bored. Uh, if this guy's taking naps and stuff, we're probably going to want to expand and add the next exhibit soon. Can you be moved? Dino dogs sell delicious hot dogs. Or a balloon shop. People might like that. A sweets thing. The sweets one's a little cheaper. Oh, donation box. Oh, damn it. I forgot to put up a donation box. That's like a, probably a huge option, like a source of revenue that I could I could have been making use of. Just a bunch of nice decorations, make things a little bit nicer. Uh, we could stick a street light out in the corner here. People might appreciate having things a little bit lit near the entrance at the very least. Oh, look at that. D sticking around, everyone donating money, everyone supporting the sciences. Much appreciated, fam. Current quests, none. All my pooping took place. Every That all worked out real, real nicely. No, no additional quests at the moment, eh? Get rid of some of this ugly shit that's going on around here. What is this? I could pick it up? Nah, I just want to destroy it. It's just ugly. It's junky. I don't want it. I don't want it in my park. Do I have to pay for it? I don't even have to pay to remove this stuff. I just kind of have to spend the time. Just go around and, and do some cleaning. 
Um, hmm, maybe this will turn into like a research wing of my park or something. So in that case, I am going to stick the next one up along here. Standard path along there that I think people will enjoy. Exhibit donations, 353. See, you get a huge amount. That was way more than the actual ticket sales that I earned or anything. I should have had that sooner. So I had one happy dino. So I do get these hearts that I don't entirely know what they're for. God, so much money that I had to pay to employees. It sucks. Bananas eaten, toilets flushed. <laughs> Why would I care about all those odd specifics? Park appeal, though. Nice. Average rating is almost three. Ten reviews for today. A lot of people putting up... Oh, cool. I can actually look at what they were saying. It was tidy. It was clean. I'm happy with the cleanness. I surfed my phone all day. Aw, oh, you suck, Lankesia. Cool, I saw a dino. I also read all my posts on Dino Book. Oh man, all these people are bored and everything. We need we need more exciting stuff going on in here. Probably another enclosure would do it. Oh, wait, building enclosures on a scale really isn't that expensive. I should uh, be willing to spend more money on putting that together. There's a stupid tree in the way, so I had to kind of tear things down and and fix it up again. There we go. Nice big exhibit area. But I also just received this. Uh, additional plants. So let's take a look at that. Did we get a bunch of new stuff? I think we did. I think some of that looks new. Cool. And also the portal. We can go digging in the portal now too. That's been opened up to us. Uh, myself. Oh, Baird. He has a nice... That's a really effective, nice pattern for digging, honestly. I'm going to use him to, like, uncover as much as possible. And then I can go in with, like, my little fine toothbrush there and complete some of these things to rake in a bunch of footprints and what have you. I don't know how often this refills or anything, so I'm going to be uh, pretty heavy with it right now. Spend as much as possible. Wow, his uh, digging method is really, really effective. I feel like I found so much stuff through him just there. That was unreal. That was so awesome. Okay, so now... Oh, right, now we can go to the egg store. So now we have a few Stegosaurus skulls. We got a, a few different footprint types. Stegosaurus footprint, which I think we also need. Uh, so just show me show me what we can afford, maybe. Oh, we don't have any gems. We haven't found any gems yet. All of these require different types of gems. So we'll have to go back and hunt for that a little bit more. I don't entirely know how we, we find that, honestly. Oh, wait, if anyone decides they want dino dogs, I'd like them to have the option. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the dino dog truck out here. There you guys go. And I'll, I'll make you a proper path to get out to, to there. So there you go. You guys like that? You guys like your hot dog thing? I sh certainly hope so. I like the idea of the benches being used to give people uh, options for where they want to look at the exhibit from. That's a nice viewing angle, maybe, and one up there as well. All right, what can I do? What can I do to this to make it desert? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want. I think I want desert. So we're gonna make it full on sand, full on for now, big time. Do I want it a little bit grassland, a little bit savanna? Let's tip it towards savanna, maybe. I'm going to throw down uh, a little bit more like of a blocky method of privacy. I think I like the looks of that a little bit better. I hope the dinosaurs are okay with it being done that way. I'd also be curious to play around with this raising option. That's honestly raised more than I expected it to be, but it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat, right? And I kind of want like uh, an interesting little river type Thing branching and flowing through here so then maybe it'll kind of look like the the water like flowed along uh oh i just turned it into a savanna that's okay though it'll make it look like it flowed along between those raised parts i think that would be cool oh look at that nice big piece of shale cool and just a few little bits of sandstone maybe as well Nice, nice. I'm really I oh I can I can get away with a little bit more. More rocks. How about that? There we go. Nice, well put together, great looking savanna going on there. I think people are gonna be pumped about that. Let's make sure we get a path going all the way out there. I want I want to make sure people have the ability to to view it from wherever they like. There. I feel like people are gonna be pumped about that. I know I am. 
I, uh, I wish I knew how to find gems. <laughs> I don't really know how to come across that. We should, we should honestly, ooh, I have two hearts to spend. That can't get us very much. Uh, but I should upgrade some stuff here. Because I, I definitely, definitely have a bunch of science to spend right now. Horticulturist amateur increases the decoration wonder of your guests. Those are just cool decorations to throw up. A taco shop, wonton truck, fedora for my dinosaurs, and hot dog huge. Increased time at park by 20% when gained. We'll call friend into park if happy is over 40. Uh, interesting. Oh, shit. I can um, spend on some of this stuff here, too. Some stuff for better better science presentations. Uh, there was things to make my, my employees happier and everything, too. I think I want to in invest in some of that stuff a little bit more. Tier reward. Is that just for... Um, did I advance to the next tier? Am I, am I at a next tier or something? Uh, food and drink didn't do that well. Ticket sales didn't do that well. Donations are looking good. I mean, considering that that would be what have you... 30, 30 guests in the day. They each they each spent about a, a dollar, dollar and a bit each. That's okay. Why does it not display income properly? I got my expenses here. Maybe it's because I'm only like losing money overall. You know, I don't have any super happy dinos. I only have the one dino. I mean, so it's not not a ton of uh, possibilities there. More like Boringville. Well, it sucks to be you because I didn't even put Ville in the name there. So you're an idiot. The food fulfilled my essential living requirements. And you're only going to give it a three? What more could you possibly ask for? Oh, no wonder Frank loved it. If someone told him that the Stegosaurus' name was Frank, that literally the only dinosaur in the entire... Oh, he's... That's not this dude's name. He's specifically saying he loves Frank. Because look at this. I've really just come to see dinosaurs like Frank. Frank's got some dope appeal. I guess the dino Frank was cool. Frank is a bit old news. Oh, poor Frank. People are getting bored with him. Oh, he looks sad. What's up, buddy? What can I do? How can I help? <gasps> Does he not have enough food? It's too small. Oh, shit. Well, I guess he's getting bigger. He's three days old. He's massive. <laughs> look how look how giant he is. Oh, he's getting a little bath. You enjoying your bath, Frank? It's a good little bath. Now he's much happier. Now he's doing okay. He's, he's way happier. Ah, uh, damn. This is kind of a little baby thing now, isn't it? Ooh, check on our delivery. What did we get this time? More plants again, hey? We have a problem. One of the employees was messing around in the science lab, and the time portal malfunctioned. It opened a portal to future times where the world is only hot dogs. Long story short, we have a surplus of hot dogs and need to sell them to clear out the storage. Except, we will sell all of the hot dogs in the world's most nonsense scenario ever conceived. Right, I was about to buy one of these. I want to increase my science learning that happens. We'll also, let's also go with horticulturist amateur. It's just nice to work towards some of this other stuff. Stonehenge, moss arches, rock walls, things like that. That all sounds good. What did I open up here? A garbage bin. Recycle half of your waste. That sounds nice. Captain Planet, that's a nice thing to work towards, right? I want an apatosaurus. Oh my god, I'm nowhere near it. Oh god, I need, I need to open. No, 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 I shouldn't, I shouldn't have said it looking at stegosaurus stuff again. Ah... All right, well, I guess I'm accidentally kind of working towards that again now. Gems? Ah, uh, yeah. I'll buy a gem. I didn't realize I could just buy those. Sure, hook me up. We'll get a stegosaurus. Then we'll have our second stego. I don't know. Are you supposed to... What did it say about social for this guy? Also, look, look at that monster dump he took. That's a hell of a poop. What can it tell me about it? A hired veterinarian automatically cleans poop. I thought it was going to tell me about the poop itself. <laughs> Social, a herd dinosaur. Requires mate and more of the similar species. Let's do that for him. I think he'll like it. It's, we, he really doesn't like looking, being looked at, hey? The exhibit is not very private. Consider using opaque walls, adding privacy tiles, or remove paths touching the exhibit. Really? Having paths all, all over the place like that is... Is bad? Maybe I take away a path like that or something. I'll, I'll look into it. In the meantime, I can at the very least just throw up some privacy grass again. There. Things are pretty private for him now. I feel like he's got a lot of options for moving around and everything. I hope that that uh, does it for him. I hope he enjoys that. And second stego egg. I think that'll be good. 
We might want to up our daily order of vegetables, though, for throwing down a second one. I'm not sure if that'll quite be enough. I feel like probably not. We're doing pretty well on our hot dog, hot dog exhibit there. Ooh, I upgraded that science branch. I should look into what kind of new cool stuff I can I can add with that. Info sign, stone science presentation. Nice and educational, quite expensive, and cool glasses. Nice, we fulfilled our hot dog quest. God, we're good at what we do, aren't we? Stone science presentation. Ah, it looks real fancy, doesn't it? Where could I stick it that people would want it? Right next to the donation box, maybe? I mean, that's also right next to the outhouse. <laughs> I wonder if that concerns people. I wonder if they wouldn't enjoy it. What does find a scientist do? I'm, then I guess someone would probably stick around with it and, and help communicate things a little bit, right? Maybe we pick up a second scientist then? Someone a little cheap, maybe. And great personality. She has a very good personality. See, new ship, you're, you're being brought on board here. I would like you to stick around here. How about that? Science presentation allows a scientist to explain your dino best friends to guests and generate science credits. All right, we'll just rake in the science like crazy. In the meantime, we got some digging to do. Oh, nice. And I just opened up more uh, dig options by adding in this additional scientist here. So that should help us out quite a lot while we're at it. Uh, try and uncover a little bit of extra stuff with her help. Well done. And then I'll get in there and, and finish up all the digging. Cool, cool, cool. We're a great team. Look how good we are at doing science stuff. That's why I hired you guys. That's why I wanted you. That's I, I, all we're going to find. I think that went perfect. That was great. All this stuff is locked. I guess the next time we're going to go to Ceratopsia, just try it out, get a little, little bit different, mix things up some. Feels like the right thing to do, I'd say. How are you doing in here, Frank? I mean, you seem nice and healthy and everything. It's still too small. Damn you. You make things so difficult for me, don't you? Whoa, scariness, aggression. Parent is me. <laughs> oh, I guess, because I just bought the egg. And then eventually, throughout time, I'm sure that they'll actually start breeding. So this is definitely a male and a vegetable diet. Let's go check on our next one. We're not going to end the day just yet, because I want to see our new dino. We have a female. Look at that. Agnes. So sooner or later, we could actually start breeding Stegosauruses. Frank and Agnes. What a wonderful power couple. They're probably, they're probably going to be less and less stoked with uh, the size of the exhibit, though. But look, he's pumped. He's pumped that his, his social needs are being met. You two are going to be great together and sooner or later going to bang and make the most beautiful Stegosaurus babies that this world has ever seen. It's going to blow their tits off. Nice. I counted as having two happy dinos, even though there's like two seconds left in the day. Uh, my overall star rating has been going down. Evolution founds a way, it seems, but you gave a bad review? I don't really know what you were so uppity about. I would love to open up my next my next little exhibit here. I, I put so much work into it. it. It's like ready. It's ready to debut any day now. Anytime anyone wants to come see that one. It's ready to be looked at and admired. I did it for you guys. I did it for you. I thought you'd enjoy it. Uh, let's stick up a nice info sign here. Give people, give people a more educational experience throughout the day. Keep them happy. Keep them enjoying things. I'm just going to throw around some decorations, too. People seem to want more decorative things floating around. So I'm, I'm just going to stick some stuff down that people might want to might want to see. How about, how about uh, something to read while you're waiting for your hot dogs? You guys would like that, wouldn't you? And how about you? What do you, what do you got for me? More plants. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, that's me receiving my plant food. That's my vegetables. It just worded it in a way I wouldn't expect. That's all I was receiving there. That's all that was all about. Well, we're a few days into here. I feel like it's going swimmingly, absolutely wonderfully. I, our tier is level three. Really? By earning money, hatching dinosaurs and various other activities. Pfft. Do we just go up to four? We just earn another tier there? We're unstoppable. We're great at this game. We're doing absolutely fantastic. This is so, so awesome. This is exactly what I've always wanted from this type of, like, tycoon game. Uh, I'm glad. 
I, I, those other ones I talked about, maybe they're good too, but I am glad right now, currently, that I passed them up in favor of checking out something cool like this. Hell, let's do one last wing around our expedition here. I feel like we got a bit of a system for uncovering excellent amounts of things. Why did I just find so much money? What's with all the money that was apparently laying around waiting to be discovered? That's very peculiar. Uh, I don't have a strong scientific explanation for why something like that might happen. A grand? A thousand dollars? That's crazy. And a footprint, which footprints are good. They're very useful for uh, getting various upgrades and things like that. Uh, that's got to be everything. I think you guys did well. I just so badly need to check to see if there's any other type of egg that we're, we're close to having. Definitely going to want to commit more time to that Ceratopsia there, because I would love to get something, something that would go well in a savanna environment. We're getting somewhere, though. Things are looking looking up for uh, whatever we called our park. It's looking great. <laughs> so I would love to play more of this game. I'm having a blast with it. I think it's fantastic, amazingly well done. This game is awesome. I can't wait to turn it into a larger series. It seems like it's going to be so fun. I can't wait to watch it, watch it grow and everything. Poor Frank. Frank is overwhelmed by the lack of privacy. I'm so sorry, bud. We'll fix that. We'll fix it next time, I promise. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I will see you again soon.